All right, let's look at how to create a very basic cityscape using one point perspective. So you want your sketchbook to be horizontal with the spirals at the top of the sketchbook so they don't get in the way of your wrist. Um, and the first thing you want to do is you want to create an X through the center of your page. Now I know this is going to be quite difficult because the ruler is smaller than the sketchbook page. So just do your best. Um, start in one corner and just eyeball that the ruler is going to extend to the other side of the page. Draw your X and then um, slide your ruler over and continue the rest of that X. It's okay if it's not perfect. This is really just a practice round just so you can learn the basics. So. You're making your X. Now you're going to be drawing this nice and light so that you can erase it later because we will not actually be leaving this X here. And then you go ahead and you create your horizon line, which should go through the center of the X. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly correct. And then a vanishing point is going to be right there in the center. So the next thing you're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a sidewalk sidewalks and a road. So to create your sidewalk you're going to line your ruler up to the bottom right side of your X, slide your ruler inwards a little bit and make sure you're still touching your vanishing point and go ahead and draw a line. You're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So line it up to the left side of your bottom of your X, slide it over. You want to slide it over about the same width that you slid this one over. It's okay if it's not exact and go ahead and draw a line leading to your vanishing point. Those are the two sidewalks. Now we need to create the sidewalk slabs. So you're making sure your ruler is horizontal, parallel to the edge of your page, parallel to your horizon line, and go ahead and draw a sidewalk slab on one side and the other. Slide your ruler up and go ahead and continue. Now as you get closer to the vanishing point, these lines should get closer and closer together because they're farther away so they're going to appear smaller each of these sidewalk slabs if we call each one of these little areas a slab each slab is going to get smaller as it gets closer to the vanishing point point. and I'm making sure that my mind's not playing tricks on me I'm still continuing to keep my ruler parallel to my horizon line and parallel to the edge of my page and of course, as I get closer and closer to that vanishing point, these lines are going to be really close together. All right, there's my sidewalk. And then this inevitably becomes my road if it's got a sidewalk on either side. And I have the option if I want to, to create the lines, um, the lane lines moving back into space and getting smaller as they get further away. So I would just line up my ruler, make sure I'm connected to the vanishing point and go ahead and draw lines. And as the lines get closer to the vanishing point, they get closer together and they get smaller. So there we go. Oops. That's the first step. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some trees. So in order to add trees, we're going to do it on the left side. It would be the same idea though on the right side. I'm going to have all of my tree trunks um, stop just above the horizon line. Now, if it's vertical in real life, it's vertical when we draw it in one point perspective. So I'm going to just start by drawing essentially a cylinder because a tree is a cylinder or a tree trunk is a cylinder. So there we go. And in order to make it look cylindrical, I'm going to round the bottom edge because we know from when we drew our cylinders that it's got a rounded bottom edge. And I'm just gonna um, go ahead and add the top of the tree. Now the reason why I have the guideline at the top is to stop me um, from going above there. So all of my trees are gonna fit underneath this line. So watch what I mean. If this is the sort of leafy part of the tree. And of course you can add a lot more details, some texture lines, you could add um, different branches, but you'll notice that it stops right up here. So my next one, again, the, the um, tree trunks are all stopping just above the horizon line. But so my next one, and I'm gonna draw it the same way, and the bottom of the tree trunk is curved and it's gotta stop just before my sidewalk. Um, so for my next one, I'm going to do the same thing, but this tree is going to be hiding a little bit behind the tree that's in front of it there. And of course, I'm stopping again when I hit here. Now you have so many options for um, adding details. So maybe when you get to your good copy, again, this is just a, a, a tutorial, a basic practice. When you get to your good copy, maybe then you're going to want to add, I don't know, branches. So you could do something like this. And you know, the more detail you add, the more interesting uh, the whole thing is going to look. 
And you could also think about doing different trees. So maybe they're not all this kind of um, bushy haired broccoli looking trees. Maybe we've also got some, I don't know, like a pine tree, like a Christmas tree sort of. Okay, that's fine. Um, variety is great, makes things more interesting to look at. Okay, I've got room, I could do one more tree trunk here. Right, and there's my little forest happening on this side. So now we're gonna look at um, adding buildings on the right side of the page. So again, this is going to be a very basic way to do it, but if you remember how to create your cubes, um, then you can create buildings. So we're gonna start on the far right side of the page. There are five steps to create a building. Watch the steps. Step one is a vertical line down in between your X. Step two is a horizontal line that goes from the top of that vertical off the page. Step three is the same line but at the bottom. Step four is to follow your guideline as far as you want. Step five is right when you stop following that guideline, you need to draw a vertical line down. I've now created a building. I no longer need this piece. This was my guideline to help me create the side of my building and I no longer need the horizon line going through the building. Let's look at it again, five steps. Step one is a vertical line. It can be anywhere, it can be here if you want. Okay, step one is a vertical line. Here, we'll move it over, vertical line. Step two, horizontal line at the top going towards the edge of the page. Step three, same thing on the bottom. Step four, follow the edge of my guideline or my X. Step five, vertical line down. Then I can erase this piece of converging line, which I no longer need, or guideline, and I can erase the horizon line that's going through the center of the building. I've got room, might as well create another building here. So, step one, vertical. Step two, horizontal. Step three, horizontal. Step four, diagonal. Step five, vertical. I've now got three buildings. I got room, might as well do one more. Vertical, horizontal, horizontal, diagonal, and vertical. And there I've got a very, very basic cityscape. And at this point you would start looking into adding details. And I'm gonna show you how to do some of those details in um, further tutorials for your good copy. But for this basic cityscape tutorial, I want you to try and add some of your own details. So of course you can erase your guideline, your X that went across the top here, and you can erase any of the horizon lines that go through the trees, um, because trees are not, are not see-through. So you can go ahead and erase any of those. That's another reason why it was really important to draw light, sorry, so that you can, um, so that you can then erase things much more easily if needed. Um, so now would be the time again to start adding any extra details like maybe on the left side here I've got a little, I don't know, like a grass path. You can see it's going to follow the edge of the sidewalk and lead towards the vanishing point. And then maybe behind that grass path is water. I'll go ahead and make some waves. The waves that are closer to the vanishing point will be smaller and closer together. The further away waves will be bigger and farther apart. I can, add, um, I can add a sunset if I want to. I can add, maybe there's mountains in the background. The options are endless. Maybe there's birds in the sky. Maybe there's an airplane flying by. You really have millions of options. Um, maybe, so in the trees, later when we add shading, that will help to create the texture of the trees, but you can also add some of the lines. Maybe there's a hole in a tree where like a squirrel's been living. Um, maybe there's apples growing on one of the trees. Maybe one of the trees is a, um, has flowers on it. Maybe there's uh, a tire swing hanging from one of the trees. I mean, really, you can do anything you want. Maybe down by the trees, uh, trunks down here is a little group of flowers. Okay, and a lot of the um, interesting details are going to come with coloring. So, for example, when we do the grass, we'll be able to create the texture um, using colored pencils.
Okay, and on the right side, if you want to create some doors and windows, go ahead and do that. So you're going to create them the same way you created the building, just with less steps. All you need to do is a vertical line. This is all on the side of the building, not on the front. The side of the building, you do the vertical line, then you do the top edge of the door going towards the vanishing point, the bottom edge of the door towards the vanishing point, but we don't really need to do that because we've already got that edge from our sidewalk, and then just one more vertical line. And there I have a door. I create the window the same way. So vertical line. And then this time I need to create the bottom side. So I'm going to go from the bottom of that vertical line to the vanishing point, from the top of the vertical line to the vanishing point, and then finish by adding that same vertical line. There's a window. And of course, now you can start adding details. Maybe there's a Hanukkiah in the window. Okay, maybe there's, um, maybe there's curtains. Maybe there's a for sale sign. It could be anything you want. Um, maybe there's a door handle. Um, maybe there's a number for what this house is. You really, like the options are just endless. So again, anything that's on the side of the building, the horizontal parts of it, the top and the bottom, that would be horizontal if we were looking right at them, they have to go to the vanishing point. The verticals though, they stay vertical. You can see all of the vertical lines are still perfectly vertical. Um, so maybe this is a for sale sign. All right, so go ahead and add some extra details to the rest of the houses or the rest of the buildings um, and then you will move on to your good copy. So start thinking about what kinds of things you'd like to place in your good copy and you will see videos describing or teaching you how to do each of those aspects of your good copy.